Now today again I am present here to teach you grade 6 English subject. It is the second class students. Now in the previous class we started unit 1 where there is a reading passage and we did some activities that day. A reading activity especially reading activity was done day and I have also shown you some pictures of animals and birds. Actually I had shown you those pictures of animals and birds which are described in this passage students. Today also I would like to review the previous lesson in short. Dear students, in this passage there are different animals and birds and they have been described different things about them have been described now today also i would like to show those pictures about the same animals and birds this is the passage and there are two paragraphs previously i helped you to read them slowly and we had taken the class previously. Today also students I would like to show those pictures once again and then in today's class we will do some activities also. Okay? We will do some exercises also. But before exercises I will explain you, I will tell you once again about the passage. I will read them and I will tell you in detail in these two paragraphs. So, students first of all see these pictures of animals once again ok. Ok, look at this first picture. Now, this is the picture of giraffe we had already discussed what sort of animal, what type of animal is this we have previously discussed. And about giraffe, in the passage also there is the description. Now, next, this next picture, Daffy. About this bird also, there is the description in our passage. Daffy, we know our national bird, right, students? The national bird of our country, Daffy. And it is also called Lofo for us. I had told you previously Lofo for us. Now, next one, next picture cheetah, the fastest animal in the world. And about it also there is the description in the passage. Next, now this is the picture of frog, different types of frog, amazing frogs are found throughout the world and in Africa very peculiar strange frogs are found. Now, we will discuss about it later in the paragraph 2. Next, the, there is the picture of bird and this is the bird swift, swift bird and it is found in Nepal. Now, next snacks, the varieties, the spices of snacks are alert in the world and some of them we can find in our locality too students, is not it? Yes, we find. Now, next picture, pandas, two types of pandas, right? Now, one uh, white and black coloring and next one red. So, red pandas they are called. Now, then after this is the bird and this bird is found in the cold places, actually in the south pole, in Un Un Antarctica continent this is found. Ok students, these animals have been described in the passage, Once, one more is there crocodiles right, crocodiles they are found in the rivers. So, ok students. Now, some of the difficult words also we had discussed in the previous class 
and once more I want to revise it multicolored right having many more colors having many more colors is called multicolored tongue that is the soft part in our body which is which is inside our mouth and we use it to test and we use it for speaking this is called tongue now grow this word grow increase in size grow means increase in size means to become larger bigger right then flat this word is there flat means wide wide in the surface wide and this the surface is plain wide and plain surface is called flat and now next one leaves the last word was leaves leaves is the flat green part of a plant that grow from branches they are called leaves okay students we previously had discussed about these things in the previous class and now today what we are going to do now today we are going to read the both paragraph of this passage there are two paragraphs right you have seen you have book and i have already uh, helped you to read it, the both paragraphs so today i will explain you about these two paragraphs so after explaining then we have some exercises students and we'll do those exercises right okay now first of all i will explain you about the first paragraph what is written there the, uh, these paragraphs are all about the information of those animals we which we previously saw so about their description i am going to tell you again this time now okay let me begin dear students first paragraph okay look at your book listen carefully okay i am going to start it nepal is famous for birds nepal is famous for birds it means we should know that students in nepal different varieties of birds are found in the different places one thing you may have heard already i think okay about birds in nepal do you know there is a bird in our country that is only found in our country the bird which is only found in nepal do you know what is its name one bird is there that is only found in our country do you know its nepali name kaade bhakur okay its nepali name kaade bhakur and in english it is called spiny babbler okay let me write on the board spiny babbler spiny babbler this is the bird only found in our country nepal okay several such birds are there different varieties and species of birds are there in nepal so first of all dafe about dafe in the paragraph it writes that dafe is a beautiful multicolored bird this bird is considered very beautiful bird everybody like it nationally or internationally this bird is very famous so this bird has been kept as our national bird this bird is our national bird in the list of national things bird dafe is kept so now this is all about dafe next pandas right pandas are also beautiful animals right students pandas already you have seen the pictures of them pandas are also beautiful animals and where are they found they are found in china their home country is china and students 
let me tell you one very strange thing about panda right the peculiar thing and strange thing about panda is that pandas only eat bamboo pandas only eat bamboo they eat bamboo shoots and leaves right they eat bamboo shoots and leaves and especially the western part of china there are two regions gansu and sichuan in those places pandas are found but it is said that nowadays the panda population is decreasing because most of the bamboo forest have been cut down by the people and their food only food is bamboo so they are decreasing in number but very beautiful animal now next animal cheetah cheetah live in asia and africa it writes there cheetahs live in asia and africa in both continents in both continents asia africa the cheetahs are found okay and they live in the hot flat places where the temperature is very hot climate is very hot in those places cheetahs are found and they also live in the flat area plain surface wide area in such places they live and one thing about cheetah it writes there a cheetah can run 100 kilometers an hour right per hour speed of cheetah is 100 km how fast runner is cheetah so it is called the fastest animal in the world students but one thing is there students cheetah can run 100 km per hour but it cannot run for long time but only for a few minutes it writes there in the paragraph but it only runs for a few minutes but its speed is so large and because of its speed it can catch deer right cheetah can catch deer easily because of its speed okay now giraffes in the beginning you had seen the picture of giraffe how they are very long neck they have they have very long neck right yes you have seen giraffes also live in africa they also live in africa they are very tall they are very tall they are tall because of its long neck so they can eat leaves 6 meters high they can reach the leaves of the trees which are at the height of 6 meter that much high they can reach and they can eat the leaves of the trees which are so high about 6 meters now frogs different types of frogs students we can see in our locality too throughout the world different spices are found some peculiar some strange spices are also found they are small creatures right you know they are small creatures but a frog in africa a frog in africa can grow to 35 cm and the weight of that frog that spices is 3 kg it means that much big frogs are also found in the world although frogs are small creatures but in africa one spice of frog is there it can grow to 35 cm and its weight can be 3 kg so this much large frogs are also found especially in africa this type of spice is there students okay it is all about first paragraph dear students now then secondly i am going to describe you about the second paragraph okay now let's 
enter into the second paragraph. Now, in the beginning of the second paragraph, it writes that a swift is a small bird. Swift, a swift is a small bird, not so big. And we can find swift in our country. It writes, you can see them in Nepal. So, in Nepal, this bird is found swift. Very beautiful bird, this is too. And they can stay in the air for two years and fly 900 kilometer in a day. It is the very much strange thing about swift students, right? About swift, this is the very strange thing. Two things are there. One, they can stay in the air for two years without living on the land or on the tree in the air only students in the air only they can live they can stay for two years continuously and one another strange thing is that they can fly 900 kilometer in a single day they can fly 900 kilometer in a single day now then penguin let's talk about penguin a penguin is also a bird right penguin is also a bird but it can't fly but it can't fly but one thing is there penguins can swim very well very good swimmers they are they can swim very well and they live in antarctica continent in the south pole there is very cold climate in the cold climate this is the climate favorable climate for penguins now snakes snakes can smell with their tongues different spices of snakes are found throughout the world and they can smell with their tongues we human beings smell through our nose right but the snakes they smell through their tongues and a big snake even can eat a goat goat you know in our locality there are goats that big animal can be eaten by a snake that sort of snakes are also found in the world that sort of big snakes several poisonous snakes are also found big snakes are also found and those big snake can eat even a goat there are all, a lot of snakes in nepal too in our country too we can find a lot of snakes now next one and the last one right crocodile okay crocodile can live in water and on land in both places we can find crocodiles they can live in water and even on the land they can live we can find them there and these crocodiles especially they are found in the rivers of the Rai region in our country throughout the world in the different places they are found but e even in our country nepal they are also found in the rivers of the Rai. okay students i described you the both paragraphs of this reading passage some birds and animals from unit one and now after reading these both paragraphs i have prepared some questions for you and we will discuss about them in the next step okay two exercises i have brought to you for today first answer questions and the second one that is finding true and false student okay now let's go toward the first exercise that is answer questions okay okay students look at the screen you can see there are some questions which are related which are totally related to this passage which just i described you now from both paragraphs i have taken these questions students okay now let's see the first question and discuss about the answer okay 
which animal is very tall? First question. I previously also had given you as homework such questions. Some questions were there, and those questions are also repeated here, students. Which animal is very tall? In the passage, what did you find? The front animal's picture you saw. Through the picture also you can guess which animal is very tall, isn't it, students? Yes, right. The very tall animal is giraffe. Okay, giraffe is very tall. In the passage too, you can see giraffes are very tall. It is written there. So the answer of this question will be giraffe is very tall. Okay, let's talk about the second question. Which is the fastest animal? Which is the fastest animal? While describing the passage just now, I had told you. Which is the fastest animal, dear students? Right, cheetah. Yeah, cheetah is the fastest animal, and its running speed also we knew. From the passage, it runs very fast, but for a few minutes. Hundred kilometer per hour is its speed, but only for short time it can run. So, the fastest animal is cheetah. Now, let's talk about question number C. What is the this passage about? What is this passage about? Now, in this passage, what we learnt about birds and animals, isn't it? About birds and animals. So we can say that this passage is about some birds and animals, or we can also say this passage is about. Birds and animals. Okay, students. Number D then. What sort of bird is Daffy? What sort of? Sort of means students type. What type of bird is Daffy? You know, in the beginning of the first paragraph, it is written there. You can look there. You can find the answer. Right? What is written there? Daffy is a beautiful multicolored bird, right? A beautiful and multicolored bird. So this type of animal, this type of bird, sorry, this type of bird is Daffy. And another fact about Daffy, I already told you, it is also in the passage that. Daffy is our national animal. Okay, now Daffy is also called what? In English, Daffy is Nepali name. Okay, in English, Lofo Forus. Okay, Lofo Forus. Next question, students. What is the home country of pandas? What is the home country of pandas? Means. Where do pandas live? Good, China. Their home country is China. So we can write China is the home country of pandas. Next question, students. What is strange about Swift? What is Swift? First of all, students. What is Swift? What is this? This is a bird. Where is it found? It is found in Nepal. And what strange thing about Swift? You knew from this passage. You can see in the beginning of the second paragraph the strange thing about Swift. There are two things, students, isn't it? Two things is given there. One. They can stay in the air for two years, and next they can fly nine hundred kilometer 
in a day these two facts strange facts these two strange things about swift is given there so one they can stay in the air for two years right next one is they can fly 900 kilometer in a day so these things we can write in this question this is the strange about swift the last question is there students where is penguin found where is penguin found right we had already discussed in the passage also it is written you can see there and find the answer try okay penguin is found in the cold places but its exact location is antarctica continent in the south pole okay antarctica continent in the south pole okay students now i have also prepared answer for you if you have to make any correction then you can look at this answers of the questions okay now on this left side you can see the answers of all these seven questions okay the answers of these all seven questions is given there which orally i already told you if you have missed anything then you can see there and you can manage your answer okay in a number the answer of question number a question which animal is very tall and answer is giraffe is very tall in this way we can write b number which is the fastest animal cheetah is the fastest animal in this way we can write c what is this passage about this passage is about birds and animals number d what sort of bird is daffy daffy there is a uh, students wrong spelling of daffy mistakenly it happened in number d look there daffy that's totally wrong you manage from your book daffy is a beautiful and multicolored bird okay from the book you make corrections of spelling of daffy p h e d a n p h e in place of o you can make p okay that's all and now next question what is the home country of pandas the home country of pandas is china in this way we can write next question what is strange about swift now strange thing about swift i have told you swift can stay in the air for 2 years and fly 900 kilometer in a day the last question where is penguin found penguin is found in antarctica in the south pole okay students in this way i hope you have prepared answers correctly and then we will enter step into the next exercise that is true false i have already told you okay students let's go toward true false okay students find either the following statements are true or false they have been also related they are related just to the passage we discussed previously okay we have learned several things we have known several things about the different animals and birds in the passage about the same these statements are prepared there and you have to find out either they are true or false first of all read the sentences very carefully while doing true false students in the exam most of the students most of the students without thinking anything they do what they put tick mark 
tick mark right and cross it's a very bad thing students we should not do that we should write t or f or either true or false but before doing that we should read the sentences statements very very carefully either the sentence matches with the passage and its information either the sentence matches with the passage or not we have to find out that first if it matches then we should make true if it is not matched if it is not matched then only we can do false okay number a a cheetah lives in africa a cheetah lives in africa in the passage about cheetah you can read the information right in the passage about cheetah you can see the information in the information what is there cheetah live in asia and africa it is written there in the passage cheetahs live in asia and africa then what do you do with this sentence true or false a cheetah lives in africa what do you do we should do it false students okay we should do it false because in the passage cheetah live in asia and africa so here is cheetah lives in africa only so number b students about giraffe second statement is about giraffe a giraffe has a long neck you are very clear i think you have seen the picture of giraffe also from the picture you can calculate and in the passage also it is written so a giraffe has a long neck it is totally match with the passage isn't it so this we have to do true it is right giraffe has a long neck number c you can see a swift in nepal you can see a swift in nepal what do you say about it yes swift bird is found in nepal so it is right so we should do true for it number d a crocodile can swim what do you say about it a crocodile can swim we got the information in the passage that crocodiles live in water and on land too it means they live in water they really swim so we should do it true now number e is about penguin a penguin flies very far what type of bird is penguin already we have discussed isn't it can they fly no then what should we do here we should do it false a penguin flies very far snakes smell with their noses snakes smell with their noses right no is they smell with their tongues so we should again do it false okay students with this i am toward the end of today's class now i would like to request you for homework that dear students these two exercises answer question and true false please write them in your fair copy in good handwriting this is your homework okay now with this i would like to conclude today's class hoping to meet in the next class okay goodbye